We want to get to a months long KPRC2 investigation. Some Hertz customers have said they were arrested and jailed because the company accused them of stealing cars that they had rented. Well, now the new CEO says this has impacted a small number of customers and it's been addressed. But investigator Joel Eisenbaum joins us live tonight with the very latest. Joel. Look, I've talked to a guy right here in Houston who says he was pulled out of his car by HPD at gunpoint because of a mistake made by Hertz. KPRC2 investigates found this is a legitimate problem, and now apparently so have some members of Congress. Hertz, the rental car mega company, recently posted record profit. They're everywhere, 37 locations just in Houston, and they're certainly on our radar. We're talking about what, in the last four or five years, 20,000 people being thrown into the criminal justice system, their jobs being lost, their families being affected, their children being affected. That from the man who has filed a class action lawsuit against Hertz. Many of his clients, he claims, have been charged, arrested, and put behind bars because Hertz reports rental cars stolen, even though they haven't been. Two of them had the guns trained on me, and another one was pulling up, and the moment he pulled up, his gun was already out. KPRC2 investigates first shared the story of James Tolan, He's a Houstonian and former Hertz customer. He was arrested at gunpoint after Hertz erroneously reported a rental vehicle stolen and never corrected that report to HPD before renting it again to Tolan's girlfriend. This is basically, you know, using the police as a taxpayer-funded repo service. More than 3,000 Hertz customers a year have theft reports filed on them, and the issue has recently gained the attention of Congress. Hertz CEO was on CNBC this week. We have changed our policies to avoid the possibility of this happening. And I think to put context to it, if you look at the several hundred people impacted, we, we engage in 15 million transactions a year. This is one one hundredth of a percent. Hertz new CEO says they want to do right by customers who have been, quote, negatively affected. They should be looking for a payday. He wants to take care of this issue quickly. We're live in Southwest Houston. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.